You may already know that if you're a fast player and you're trying to be as fast as possible, you're going to need some speed boots. And you might also know that what I just said is complete bull. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you the ultimate speed boot battle, which sounds a lot more intense than it's actually going to be because these two boots aren't actually going to battle each other. But a comparison video between the two most popular and arguably two of the best speed boots on the market right now, the Adidas X19.1 and the Nike Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite. Swoosh versus Stripe. Slynet versus Speed Mesh. ACC versus something else that's invisible. So if you're trying to decide between these two boots, this video should definitely help you out. And once you've made up your mind, if you're looking to pick up either the Vapor or the X below their normal retail prices, there will be links to the review pages down below in the description of this video, where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick up either of these two boots below their normal retail prices. Also, if you guys enjoy the comparison series on the channel, don't forget to support this one with a like and leave a suggestion down below for which comparison video you would like to see next. Also, if you're new here watching for the first time and don't wanna miss out on daily football boot content from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. It's not really a factor when it comes to performance, but it definitely matters. The Vapor is more expensive than the X with a retail price of 250 US dollars, where the X is gonna run you $225 at full retail. It's also worth noting that there are more expensive variants of both of these boots, a Superfly 7 Elite, which retails for $275, $25 more than the Vapor, and basically the exact same thing with the addition of a collar that really offers no performance benefit, and the $275 Adidas X19 Plus, which is a laceless variant of the X19.1. Quite a bit different in regards to overall feel as well as performance. It's technically a totally different upper, and in my opinion, not quite as good as the X19.1 from a pure performance standpoint, but if you're into the whole laceless thing, it might be worth your time. Either way, there is a $25 price difference between the two in favor of the X being that little bit cheaper. I don't wanna say that $25 is insignificant, but if you're really trying to pick between these two boots, I don't think that the price should be the deciding factor. Despite both being speed boots designed to provide a thin barefoot touch on the ball, these two couldn't be more different. With the X19.1 featuring what Adidas calls a speed mesh upper, a variant of what we originally saw introduced on the X18.1 that this boot recently replaced, as the name would suggest, it is a mesh-based synthetic material with this kind of ribbed texturing, the ribs running almost on a 45 degree angle across the boot. You're gonna find that it does have some significant texturing on the surface with a polyurethane top layer on top of that mesh and some extra polyurethane around the toe box and forefoot area for the sake of reinforcement. Internally though, it is left to be almost a straight mesh. At least the lining material is very, very thin. So the end result is an upper that does feel like a very soft sock on your foot, but it doesn't lack that little bit of padding. Yes, it's a thin upper that's gonna provide somewhat of a barefoot sensation, but there is a definite softness and a padded feel to the touch that you're not necessarily going to get from the Mercurial. With the Vapor featuring Nike's latest take on a Flyknit upper, featuring two different types of yarns intertwined or knitted into one. The end result being what I would argue is the most sock-like and natural sensation we've ever had from a pair of football boots, period. And the Flyknit features a combination of a texture yarn, which is what's going to give you all of this grid pattern throughout the upper, and a high tenacity yarn, which is basically a derivative of their Flywire technology, knitted in a grid pattern into that texture yarn to create one upper that has the softness and flexibility of a sock, but also the structure and rigidity that you would want from a very responsive locked down pair of speed boots, but without any of the hard spots. I think what both of these boots do really well, the Vapor and the X, is that they give you this soft upper, but also really good responsiveness, but this Mercurial really takes it to the next level. From a touch standpoint, this is definitely thinner than what you're gonna get from the X. There really is no extra padding to it, but it's still very soft and flexible. If you've ever kicked the ball in a pair of socks, that's basically what this feels like. While I think the touch provided by the X is excellent and you definitely won't be disappointed, if we're talking about two boots that strive to provide that sock-like sensation, not only does the Vapor do that better, I think it's the most sock-like feel we've ever had from a pair of football boots, so it wins the touch category.
For me, a big part of what makes a speed boot a speed boot is responsiveness. And what I mean by that is that the boot has this very connected sensation to your foot. Not only is it wrapping it very tightly, but the upper has enough structure so that when you make a hard push to change direction, the boot doesn't overstretch. There's no rollover. There's no movement of your foot inside of the boot. The second you react is the second that the boot reacts with you. And both of these boots are very responsive, but I definitely think that one does it better than the other for two reasons and that is the mercurial. It has a tighter overall fit, meaning that it wraps your foot more closely, and the structure that Nike has managed to put in this very soft line at upper is simply better than the speed mesh. It's not to say that these aren't responsive because they're very responsive, but the mercurial just does it better. The X19.1 really features nothing new from the Adidas brand. It is what they are now calling a speed frame, formerly known as a sprint frame, something that was originally introduced back in 2010, and they're still using some variation of it, and rightfully so. It's a very lightweight base to the boot, and actually feels quite good. A perfect base for a speed boot, some might argue. It's got good flexibility to it, stiffness in the right places. Also, the fact that it does have an external heel counter is something that I'm personally a big fan of. As far as the stud pattern is concerned, concern. It's aggressive. It's the most aggressive layout from the Adidas brand, I would say, but I definitely don't think that it's the most aggressive. The studs that you get is the typical Adidas layout, conical at the back, and then kind of these more triangular shaped studs in the forefoot that do provide a decent amount of bite, but when compared to the Mercurial, it's honestly not even close. The one benefit of this though, is that it is an FGAG stud pattern. So if you play on firm natural grass, as well as artificial grass playing surfaces, the fact that you can use one boot on both of those surfaces is nice. Where the Vapor features a very different construction, a split sole, which I still think is kind of unnecessary. I'm of the opinion that this would have been a better and lighter football boot had it had the same anatomic sole plate featured on the Vapor 11 and Superfly 5, but that's just me nitpicking things because this is still really good and it still features that same anatomic sole plate base. You just can't see it because it's inside of the boot. As far as the split sole is concerned, you're gonna find a stud plate in the forefoot and a stud plate in the heel. The stud plate in the forefoot being their new Aero Tracks sole plate, which does have more stiffness than what you'll find from the X, so it's a little bit more of a responsive kind of bounce back type sensation, but it does so in a very natural way, where the more it bends, the stiffer it gets, but it doesn't feel unnaturally stiff, which is an improvement over the previous generation of Mercurial. And then as far as the stud pattern is concerned, this just blows it out of the water when you're talking about traction on natural grass. It is the most aggressive stud pattern on the market by a long shot, so if you're looking for as much bite as possible, this is definitely the way to go. However, it is not FGAG. I would not recommend wearing this FG stud pattern on artificial grass. People will still do it, but I don't think it's good for the sake of comfort. I don't think it's good for the sake of the durability of the football boot. And I definitely don't think it's the safest thing in the world. If you play on artificial grass and you want mercurials, definitely go for the AG Pro stud pattern. Again, two excellent layouts here. And from a versatility standpoint, definitely the X would win this category. But when it comes to outright aggressiveness, as much grip and bite as possible when pushing in, the mercurial is just better. When it comes to weight, the scale doesn't lie. Both in a size 9.5 US, the X19.1 weighs in at 7.4 ounces, the equivalent of 209 grams, while the Vapor 13 Elite weighs in at 6.6 .6 ounces, the equivalent of 188 grams. They're both lightweight boots, but the numbers are the numbers, not only because it's actually lighter, but also due to the tighter, more responsive feel of the Mercurial. If you're looking for the lighter overall sensation on your feet, the Vapor is better. I would never describe the X19.1 as a bulky football boot, but side by side with the Vapor 13, it does quite honestly feel a little bit bulky. It has a wider, higher volume, more rounded feel to it. The upper is definitely thicker. And it just doesn't wrap your foot as tightly or as naturally as the Vapor does. And that really is the impressive aspect of this particular boot for me, the reshaping of the upper that they've done with this new generation along with this Flyknit technology that is so soft and flexible, but somehow so strong once you tie the laces tight and everything's being held together against your foot. It is just 
kind of the pinnacle of what a speed boot can be. It seems like they up the bar with every new generation of Mercurial. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. This time around though, they definitely got everything right. Both boots are very, very comfortable, but definitely if you're looking for the tighter overall fit, the Mercurial is the way to go. As far as width is concerned, again, definitely the Mercurial is more narrow than the X. So if you have a wider foot, the X is probably going to be a lot more comfortable for you. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these both in my regular size 9.5 US and the fit and length is perfect. So I'd recommend going true to size, whether you're going for the X or the Mercurial, but in terms of just fitting like the best speed boot or what I picture a speed boot to be, I definitely think that the Mercurial once again wins this category. <laughs> Honestly, I think these are both excellent football boots and I'm not really a speed boot type of guy, but I'd be happy to wear either of these. What I will say is that when it comes to objective performance characteristics, the Mercurial is just better than the X in pretty much every single way. It fits tighter, it's more of a true barefoot sensation, it's more natural on feet, it's certainly more responsive, the traction is certainly more aggressive, and it's lighter on the scale as well. So it does everything probably better than any speed boot to ever come before it. But that's not to say that the X is an inferior football boot. What we kind of have here is a situation of really the future of football boots and something that is kind of stuck in the past, maybe a little bit more traditional, dare I say, but still really, really good. And while I think the Vapor is excellent, I'd be happy to wear it, there's still something about the slightly more padded and traditional feel that you get from the X that I'm personally drawn to. So from a personal preference standpoint, honestly, I'd probably be happier playing a full season in the X than I would in the Mercurials, just based on what I like. But in terms of what I think is the better overall speed boot, it's the Mercurial. Anyways, guys, that's it for my comparison. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in either of these two boots for yourself, there will be links to the review pages down below in the description of this video, where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. we will be able to pick these up below their normal retail prices. If you have any questions regarding anything that was discussed in this video, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.